Hi everyone, welcome to Access Prescript. In this video, I'm going to teach you fear avoidance model. It is one of the important concepts to understand if you're a clinician or therapist handling the painful condition, especially the chronic painful condition. Someone faces injury, they experience the pain. What if the person have a fear and don't have a fear? What it happens to them? That is what this concept tells us. The person doesn't have a fear, they have a positive attitude and confident towards that movement and pain. They face confrontation, fight against that, and they feel recovery. If the person have a fear towards that movement and worries, anxiety, negative beliefs, uh, for example, if someone have a back pain, unable to bend forward, immediately take an MRI. MRI shows disc bulge, and doctor advice do not bend forward and take bed rest. If you bend forward, you may face the negative consequences of this injury. The person end up having the negative beliefs and worries and high amount of fear, and they have the pain related fear. Pain related fear, pain catastrophizing means thinking worse and thinking worse and negative emotions and negative beliefs towards that problem. Okay, it develops highly and it end up to avoidance of the moment and hyper vigilance behavior. It leads to disuse, depression and disability. It reduces the quality of life, or muscle efficacy, range of motion and so many things. And uh, it reduces the quality of life and person again experience the pain. Person again experience the pain. These person locked into the cycles. We have to eliminate the fear of the person to break this cycle to come out of that pain. How to break the cycle is very simple. You have to eliminate the fear by graded exposure towards the movement. The same person have a fear of bending forward. For example, you have to slowly increase them in a spinal flexion position. For example, pelvic tilt, cat and camel, and increase them in a flexion slowly. You have to induce and make them perform that movement comfortably. And most of us not treating the person problem accurately. We are treating the pain alone. That is where the person end up having this loophole. For example, you treat the pain, the person doesn't have a pain and they went forward again, they face the pain, they increase the fear of the person. They feel like they have not improved completely and they end up having this cycle again and again, they face the chronic pain. So greater exposure to the movement and confidence, positive attitude towards that movement and encouraging the patient, speaking to the patient with the good languages and positive attitude also plays a major role. Hope you learn this concept and it's helpful in your clinical practice. For more videos like this, subscribe to my YouTube channel, press the like button. See you in the next video. Bye.